Have you ever pondered the possibility of a machine that can operate indefinitely without an energy source? Welcome to the enigmatic world of perpetual energy, a realm that has been fascinating, perplexing and enticing the minds of both scientists and laymen for centuries. Perpetual energy is a hypothetical concept that suggests the existence of an object or system that can operate indefinitely without an energy source. It's a captivating idea that defies the fundamental laws of physics as we know them. Imagine a light bulb that never dims, a car that never needs fuel, or a city that never sleeps, all sustained by an inexhaustible source of energy. That's the allure of perpetual energy. The concept is as old as human curiosity itself. In the ancient world, it was the dream of alchemists, the holy grail of inventors. In the modern world, it's the stuff of science fiction and the hope of sustainable energy researchers. The fascination with perpetual energy transcends cultures, generations and disciplines. It's a universal intrigue, a puzzle that begs to be solved. Why does the idea of perpetual energy captivate us so? Perhaps because it promises a solution to our energy needs, an answer to the looming threats of energy scarcity and environmental degradation. Or maybe it's because it challenges our understanding of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we deem possible. But the concept of perpetual energy is not without its critics. Many argue that it's an impossible dream, a violation of the first and second laws of thermodynamics. These laws state that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred or transformed, and that energy systems tend towards disorder, not perpetual order. Despite these criticisms, the quest for perpetual energy continues. It's a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity, a beacon of hope in our search for sustainable energy solutions. The concept of perpetual energy is indeed fascinating, but how plausible is it? To understand perpetual energy, we must first delve into the fundamental principles of energy. Picture energy as an invisible force. It's everywhere powering your phone, making your car move, even allowing your body to function. It's this omnipresent entity that we often take for granted. Now, what exactly is energy? Well, in the simplest terms, energy is the capacity to do work. It's what allows objects to move, light to shine, and heat to warm. It exists in many forms, including chemical, mechanical, thermal, electrical, and nuclear energy, each with its own unique attributes. But here's the thing about energy. It's not created nor destroyed. This is known as the law of conservation of energy. It simply means that energy can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. For instance, when you turn on a light, electrical energy is converted into light and heat energy. Now let's circle back to perpetual energy. The term perpetual means never ending or eternal. So perpetual energy is the idea of an energy source that can operate indefinitely without an input of energy. It's like a light bulb that never goes out or a car that never needs refueling. But here's where we hit a snag. The idea of perpetual energy seems to contradict the law of conservation of energy. If energy can't be created or destroyed, only changed from one form to another, how can we have a machine that runs forever without an input of energy? It would mean creating energy out of nothing, which goes against the very principles we just discussed. Some argue that the universe itself is a kind of perpetual energy machine, with its endless cycles of stars being born and dying. But this still involves a transfer of energy, not creation from nothing. Given these principles, the realization of perpetual energy appears improbable, yet the quest continues. In our next segment, we'll delve into the fascinating world of perpetual motion machines. Stay tuned. Despite the theoretical improbability, history records numerous attempts to create what is known as perpetual motion machines. Let's take a trip down memory lane and explore some of these fascinating endeavors. One of the first recorded attempts dates back to the 11th century, when an Indian mathematician and astronomer, Paskara II, designed a wheel that he believed would spin forever. His design was simple, a wheel with containers of mercury around its rim. The shifting weight of the mercury, he thought, would keep the wheel in perpetual motion. However, due to friction and air resistance, the wheel eventually stopped spinning. 
Fast forward to the 16th century and we find ourselves in the era of the Renaissance. An Italian physician, Jerome Cardin, proposed the idea of a self-operating machine. This machine, equipped with a falling weight that would turn a wheel, was supposed to keep running indefinitely. Unfortunately, Cardin didn't consider the energy loss in the system due to friction and air resistance. His machine, like Bascara's, eventually came to a halt. In the 19th century, an Austrian inventor, Johann Bessler, claimed to have created a successful perpetual motion machine. He made numerous public demonstrations of his so-called Bessler wheel. Despite attracting a lot of attention, Bessler refused to reveal the inner workings of his wheel. After his death, no evidence of a working perpetual motion machine was found. So why did these attempts fail? The answer lies in the fundamental principles of energy. The first law of thermodynamics, also known as the law of energy conservation, states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred or converted. These historical attempts failed to account for energy loss in the form of heat, sound and other forms of energy. These failed attempts serve as a testament to the unyielding principles of energy conservation. Despite these failures, why does the idea of perpetual energy continue to spark interest? Well, the answer lies in its tantalizing promise. A world free from energy scarcity. Imagine for a moment, an endless supply of power. No more blackouts, no more rationing, no more worries about depleting resources. It's an enticing vision that has held humanity in its thrall for centuries, and it's one that continues to inspire hope and drive research. The implications of achieving perpetual energy are profound and transformative. For starters, it would provide a limitless supply of energy. This means that the entire world could be powered indefinitely without the need for any external fuel sources. It's a solution that could effectively and permanently resolve the global energy crisis. But the potential benefits of perpetual energy extend far beyond mere convenience. It could also have a significant impact on climate change. Our current methods of energy production are largely responsible for the greenhouse gas emissions that are driving global warming. By replacing these methods with clean, perpetual energy, we could significantly reduce our carbon footprint and halt the progression of climate change. This could mean a healthier planet for future generations. Moreover, achieving perpetual energy isn't just a pipe dream. There's ongoing research in this field with scientists exploring innovative approaches and technologies. Though the concept defies the laws of traditional physics, recent advancements in quantum mechanics and nanotechnology are providing new perspectives and possibilities. The road to perpetual energy is steep and fraught with challenges, but it's a journey that's worth undertaking. In the end, it's the hope for a better future that keeps us chasing the elusive dream of perpetual energy. It's a beacon of promise in a world faced with dwindling resources and escalating environmental concerns. This hope fuels our curiosity, our ingenuity, and our determination to push the boundaries of what's possible. The potential benefits of perpetual energy keep the flame of hope alive, driving scientists to challenge the impossible. So, where does this leave us on the quest for perpetual energy? In our exploration, we've embarked on a journey through the intriguing enigma that is perpetual energy. This concept, as enthralling as it is elusive, has sparked curiosity and innovation for centuries. It's the idea of a power that never ends, a machine that never stops. Yet it's not that simple, is it? As we've seen, the fundamental principles of energy conservation and thermodynamics challenge the very notion of perpetual energy. Energy, as we understand it, cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. This principle stands at odds with the idea of a never-ending power source. We've also looked at the historical attempts at creating perpetual motion machines. From the overbalanced wheels of the Middle Ages to the magnetic motors of the modern era, none have succeeded in achieving perpetual motion. Each attempt, though innovative and creative, has ultimately fallen short due to the unyielding laws of physics. Yet, despite the improbability, the pursuit of perpetual energy continues. Researchers and inventors around the globe press on, driven by the allure of an endless energy source. The spirit of this pursuit lies not just in the potential for an energy revolution, but also in the quest for knowledge itself. 
It's about pushing boundaries, challenging norms, and venturing into the unknown. So what's the verdict? Well, while the conventional laws of physics currently deem perpetual energy impossible, the journey is far from over. The quest for knowledge and understanding is, in itself, perpetual. The pursuit of perpetual energy, therefore, is more than just a scientific endeavor. It's a testament to the human spirit, to our innate curiosity and relentless drive to innovate. While perpetual energy remains a captivating enigma, it serves as a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and innovation. The journey continues.